Have you ever found a friend while searching in the clouds? I did. Let's show you. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. The craziest thing happened to me in Clash of Clans in that I found a friend in multiplayer. YouTuber, fellow content creator, Clash with Eric. Yes, my friends, Eric from One Hive was found in multiplayer. Wait a second. Did you see who just attacked me? Now, this is not Legends League. I was in Titan 2, he was in Titan 3. To find somebody you know in the clouds is insanely low. I want to tell you a little bit about this, how I was feeling show you the attack and also let you know that we set up a little bit of a revenge as well eric revenged my base that will be linked at the end it's also in the video description but wow this was incredible and i am genuinely interested have you ever found anybody you know in my seven and a half years of playing clash of clans i never have no way <laughs> I do not know anybody that has found somebody they know. The closest I have been, I was a member of Lunar Rising way back when, and I found somebody in Chaos Rising, so one of our family clans, but that is the closest. I have never found anybody I know, so I could have been using any army. As it happens, I had my just funning around, my super minion army cooked up, but I had to attack Eric. <laughs> I could have had a barge cooked up and I would have attacked his base. Now, I do want to finish off the video as well by boosting up these super witches because they are insanely OP right now. I might even bring you another video if you wish on them, but I want to educate you on how to use them because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. So if that's the type of content you want to see, I would recommend subscribing and also turning on the notification bell. Back to Clash with Eric then. I sound like Eric himself. Welcome back back to clash with eric let's show you the attack explain things let you know how i was feeling because this was incredible i also want to remind you that my lost and crowned storybook giveaway is live on my twitter page the draw will be tonight so if you want a chance of winning be sure to follow me on twitter i will remind you at the end of the video but the link is in the description good luck guys let's get into the attack so you guys know that I love to search for huge amounts of loot. And when I found this base, I obviously realized it didn't have a lot of loot. But as I glanced up towards the loot, I first seen the name One Hive. Now that is what made me take a little bit of a second look. One Hive, it's an incredibly popular clan. And I seen the name Eric. I was just astounded at this point. I was actually... In bed, I attack. The final thing I do on an evening is attack on my phone. And I was actually in shock. I'm frantically, I normally attack on my iPad, as you guys know on the videos. I'm frantically trying to zoom in down towards the clan castle. I'm thinking, I am pretty sure that is the actual One Hive. This isn't an imposter, someone pretending to have a One Hive clan because there's lots of them. I'm pretty sure this is Eric. Even if it's not, I'm going to attack him, and then afterwards we can figure out if it is the real Eric. But I was pretty convinced it was. So at this point, my mind is blown. I'm trying to remain silent. My wife's asleep next to me. I'm trying to hold it together. And the three, two, one starts clicking on the screen. I need to attack. So the first thing I see is scatter shot over to the northeast side of the base. I have to attack over there. So I just place my queen and quickly try and figure out where we are going to attack from there. So I thought baby dragon onto the army camp relatively easy. Then I noticed all of these buildings on the outside. I have to take these buildings down, otherwise my queen is going to walk. So not ideal, actually. I have to send my king into funnel. The wall wrecker is already coming in to the base. That is when I'm farming, how I charge my queen in most of the time. This is the critical error. I was shaking. I'm frantically trying to attack on my phone and it's going okay. 
My queen charge is doing pretty good. Healers on the queen, coconut loons, I get the rage spell in. As I rage at this point, I glance to my royal champion, who I decided, let's deploy the royal champion behind the king, try and take the single and the other scatter shot. And I notice the single target inferno on my royal champion. So I go to press the ability. I wasn't sure how charged up the single target was. Press the ability. Oh my word. I press the Queen's ability instead. So I've lost my Queen's ability. The Royal Champion ability did fortunately go off, but pressing the Queen's ability really cost me big style in this attack. The Queen got the single, but you will see moving down to the end of it. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not 100%. I mean, I'm just happy that I found Eric, but... Obviously, I wanted to get a three star, right? And I'm not too sure. Let me know what you think. I think I might have got it if I had the Queen's ability. I mean, granted, this is a farming base. This is by no means Eric's strong base. This is just his farming base. He has his storages on the outside of the base. So, at this stage, I have my defensive CC and that of three ice golems. Taking my healers. Thanks. Thank you. It actually worked out okay, though, because my queen survived. Healers did get in range a little bit of the air defense, so I decided let's push the super minions in in front of the queen, try and protect her a little bit. This is actually when I noticed uh, he has his storages on the outside of the base. Obviously, it's his farm base. So I had to send a couple of super minions in to try and get the main pack of them through. Used my final freeze spell onto the single to protect my queen, obviously. And it's not going too bad at this point. I decided to use the rage for the super minions to try and flush them in front of the queen, try and protect her. I know I don't have the ability at this point, but this is where if I had the ability, I think I might have got this because the super minions are tanking at the moment. They're doing a relatively good job. And right now is where the single is locked onto the queen. The defending queen is there as well. And had I have had the ability, the archer queen would have got through the single. The defending queen went down anyway, and then she would have been pushed up towards the scatter, the sweeper, the archer queen on offense, had I have not used the ability, would have wiped those couple of defenses out, and that would have definitely helped with the super minions. Now, I'm still not sure. There's quite a few defenses at the top here. It would have been close, but the super minions would have definitely had an easier ride. The archer queen with the healers on her still would have took down the expos, the scatter shot. She wouldn't have had too much damage on her and I had a lot of time left. So obviously versus Eric, I just let it clock out at this point. Grand Warden, do your thing, buddy. And the first thing I did, if you do follow me on Twitter, is tweet this out. Once I found out I had attacked Eric, well, second thing I did, sorry, realized 80%. That's another thing. When I first found Eric, I was trying to screenshot it as well. I screenshotted this page. When I exited the battle, I went to the One Hive clan. Was this Eric? So I went across to the attack log and I had a look. I pressed view clan and there you are, my friends. It is absolutely the One Hive. So the first thing I do was tweet it out. When you find Eric, and you accidentally press your queen's ability. That's how I found Eric. That is how amazing it was. And again, let me know if you have found anybody. I want to boost up the Super Witches, do one attack with the Super Witches, and then I will probably do a separate video, just because this video is more about finding Eric, the story of it, how I was feeling, what happened. But I do want to do one Super Witch attack for you, show you how to use them, but I will do another video of the Super Witches after this. So. Let's get them boosted up, guys. 60,000 Dark Elixir for seven days. Remember, you do not have to worry about the seven-day cooldown, which is awesome. You could just use them forevermore. Okay, so this is the army composition that Tribe Gaming used in the qualifiers for the most part. It is incredibly strong, and I want to teach you about the Super Witches. Like I said, I will bring you a separate video on this for probably my next video, so stay tuned for that. But you know I like to search for the huge loot rage share them with you on Instagram and Twitter. Let's go ahead, keep searching, and come back when we get some huge loot. I just got a call, guys, and I do have to run, so I am going to attack the first base that has relatively high loot. It's not the easiest. This is the first time I've used the Super Witches, so let's go ahead and show you. The first thing you want to do is 
Use lightning spells to make your Grand Warden walk a little bit easier. Now, normally you deploy your Grand Warden first, but because there was a single target Inferno there, I did decide to um, use the lightning. Now, once you have got the funnel created a little bit, what you can do is use the Barbarian King. Let's use one wizard. And when the Grand Warden is created a little bit more of a funnel here, now let's use the Super Witches to draw him in. And we can use the Queen can use one wall break that should be pretty good there actually and we can use a rage to get them through balloons to test more wall breakers because we do need to get into that compartment use the siege barracks the royal champion over this area as well we can use the jump and another rage my super witches aren't actually going into the base at this stage let's use oh. Queen's ability because she is locked on by the single royal. The king is over there where I've got my wizards about to come out. This is going pretty crazy, guys. This is pretty crazy. When the when the hog riders come out of the siege barracks, that's when I'm going to use my royal champion towards the single target inferno. Now, I am going to freeze the eagle artillery and there come the hog riders. Look, so let's go with the royal champion onto the single. Healers are still on the oh, royal champion might not get through that single. Oh, she did! Beautiful! Let's use the Grand Warden's ability to help the Super Witches through. Now, at this point, it is all about cleanup. I've got a minute left, look, so more than enough time for the Super Witches. Believe it or not, this is what the attacks tend to look like. They are a little bit scary. Super Witch tanked look on the Archer Tower, so that's why I'm going to bring the Wizard in. But if you can keep the healers on your Super Witches, look at them go. They literally just walk straight through the base. And this might have looked a little bit sloppy to begin with. But in fact, it is quite a crushing attack. Because Super Witches with the healers are doing incredible. Believe it or not, if I could have protected my Royal Champion just a little bit more, I would have really crushed this base. Hog Riders as well, not max level. First time using the Super Witches. I think that was relatively okay. I'll have a little bit of a practice and make sure that in the next video, you guys have a much better tutorial of the Super Witches. But Lightning Spells to take down damage to allow your Grand Warden to walk. Funnel on the other side with the King and Siege Barracks for your Super Witches to come straight through. You've seen how easy it was. It was pretty crushing, guys. Three stars, it is a beautiful attack indeed. I'm relatively happy with that one. Remember the giveaway on Twitter, link in the description. Eric's video is on Twitter as well. And I will try and link his video right here, in fact. If it is live, I will link it here. If not, I will link my previous video, but hopefully you have Eric's video linked right there where he revenges my base. Go check it out, guys. It's super fun. Subscribe button is there as well, and I will see you in the next one for the Super Witches. Until then, take care and have a good day.